bro. That mm -mm. we've seen, we seen is another character that we saw at you know Summit. That's crazy. I think Pyra Mithra is the new Smash Four Cloud. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much everyone that played Smash Four Cloud now is picking up a Pyra and Mithra. Um, you and didn't hear about Sparkles, Petra? Yeah, I'm saying everyone who played Smash 4 Cloud is playing yeah. Pyra and Mithra. They're the DLC, second to last DLC character mm -hmm. that is a really broken sortie. And Ralphie, of course, a Smash 4 Cloud player, gravitating to the broken DLC sortie. And for good reason, this character is problematic. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. We definitely love seeing problematic characters. And speaking Look at of that problematic, problematic fair. <laughs> <laughs> but for sure, oh, getting oh that nice Lord. fair to take that first stock already. A very nice 64%. They only, Rafi does yeah. not have too much damage on this, them. And uh, they're just, this is just a sad difference in sorties right here. Seeing Ike and Pyra and Mithra. Like, sad? I'm saying for Ike, like, sad. it's just so much better. We, you cannot forget about this character at the beginning of the game. Yeah. They're like, there. No, oh one, my God. no one could play against them, this character. Sadly, um, there's only a downward spiral on the tier list since release. I still like playing Ike a lot. He's pretty fun, but... Um, not, definitely not a character the... that has some exploitable neutral because they're pretty, um, they can be pretty linear in what Ike wants with that landing there. Mm -hmm. So it's really vital that um, Ike players try to mix it up a lot in what mm -hmm. they're doing and not get caught because then they can just get really easily called out and jumps and mm -hmm. get the nair parried. So, yeah. Absolutely, for sure. And they kind of need to be a little bit more careful in neutral because this is exactly what Pyramethro thrives on. You approaching and you just getting red into oblivion. You do not want to be approaching Pyramethra like that. That, uh, Py or Pyra's down air is absolutely insane. It is very hard to punish. Ooh, that was so good. Combos into kill percent, uh, into kill confirms mm -hmm. in so many, such a large percent range. Just an extremely, extremely good move. And going for it right there, but this is just looking really rough because how is Ike dealing with these, uh, like, really, um, how is Ike dealing with Pyra's uh, ledge pressure. It's tough. The kind of thing is, is that like, you know, from what we kind of see is that like, Maniac needs to be really careful about how they actually approach, you know, this matchup. Because the more they actually take damage, the more they actually are, you know, stuck at percents like 164, where they actually are, you know, in range of death and they kind of don't want to die. Like, you kind of just want to do a whole bunch of damage and juggle people like this right here. And Ralphie is um, right now just spamming that side B because I'm pretty sure it, one's, they're very, it's very close to killing. So once you're at a percent where side B kills you, it's really hard to live versus Pyro and Mithra. Mm -hmm. Going to Mithra right here, um, and at this percent, Mithra's moves will also be killing, but the gentleman almost taking it mid-stage. That's so Ralphie crazy. just wow. waited out that dash attack. They saw Ooh. that... Um, they saw um, what's um, that uh, maniac. They mm -hmm. saw that maniac after a lot of side B's that game ran up dash attack and it worked the first few times. But Ralphie, you know, he's a seasoned player. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be Period. like, okay, he's hit me with this twice. He thinks he can get it again, so I'm gonna now shield. And now that it's time to kill, I'll win off it. So you know, as he should. <laughs> just uh, some some basic level of adaptation right there coming from Ralphie. Convincing two stock. I mean. That was almost a low percent two stock. I think Ralphie mm -hmm. kind of was almost playing a bit trolly, like going for like seven <laughs> side beats in a row right there. But um, yeah. I mean, but who cares? Right now we're yeah, getting right. into yeah. some nice Pyra Myth games because you know what? This character, I don't, I don't care what none y'all gotta say about this. This character, she's cool. She or both, but she but they because there's two of them. They're cool. Yeah. Um, it, um, they are cool, but it's also, um broken <laughs> for sure but yeah. I mean, if we're gonna be completely honest though, i think they definitely do kind of struggle when it actually comes to playing a lot more neutral because uh -huh. like you know although they're really fast they actually you like know 50, risk the chance of like actually whiffing a lot of their tools so like when you kind of just like have somebody who's maybe camping you out like who's not really trying to approach with you it kind of ends up like not really working out in your favor but for sure already at 89 yeah, percent this is um Ralphie started the game with a platform extension to a 50% combo, and that's just the strength of Mithra right there. I mean, it's not even like she has like a one like linear combo that she always goes for. It's kind of just like pick your own aerial, and you can combo off it. Oh, and that was a call out right there. That's that LP, knowing exactly where uh, Maniac was gonna end up. 
Absolutely, for sure. They definitely need to make sure that they get these kills off of the ledge traps. But they need to be really careful about how they actually approach back onto the stage. Ooh, this is going to be a little bit of a scary situation Ooh. for both of these players because right now Ralphie is in, you know, range of dying. But, you know, maybe he kind of wants to get a little bit more damage before he actually loses the stock. And I think fortunately for Ralphie, yeah, um, he's at high enough percent where Nair won't confirm to a kill. Which mm -hmm. makes it so hard for Ike to kill because now he really needs to get like a raw call out. Like he does on that roll though. Mm -hmm. And now an even game looking really different, especially after such a rough start. Oh no, that's a dead Ike. Oh, that's so sad. I mean, either way, it's kind of like one of those situations where it's just like... Nike... Uh, Nike? 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 Oh, period. You can't be wearing your Nikes out today, y'all. It's raining. Absolutely not. Either way, um, it's kind Ike. of one of those situations where, you know, since Ike barely has any, you know, confirms anymore, you have to be really careful about how you actually go about playing that disadvantageous position right there. And just going to kind of get back to center stage for free. Right now, Ralphie kind of has to just take this stock a little bit more quickly because, you know, if anything, we haven't seen, you know, Maniac do too much to actually show us that we would be scared. But I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they could just uh, get a little sun Yeah, I mean, I think um, in Ultimate, you never want to throw away stocks. Like, even if you do have a huge lead, you still got to play like as if holding on to the stock's really vital because it is. Um, every character, um, for a lot of characters in this game, have the potential to like get zero to deaths with like their advantage state. You know, everyone's a little broken in their own way, so you Absolutely. gotta be careful. But um, right now it's kind of just sword versus oh. better sword, um, because uh, it's it's easy for I think um, Pyra to be able to. Out, not even outrange Ike, but weave out, weave in and out with her aerials much better. Yeah, they could have actually killed with that up air. That would have been super Ooh, good. Is that gonna kill? That's death, yeah. Period. But for sure, they definitely missed a kill there. But they just immediately got it back with that nice up B, which you thought you was doing. I parry, and my up B is really good now because <laughs> it got buffed. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's a bit sad for Maniac because they did get gimped at literally zero. So like this mm -hmm. game would have been super close if not for that. But um, if they make, can make this comeback, it'd be quite impressive. I definitely love the way that they've been kind of mixing up getting back onto ledge, but it's kind of what they do afterwards that actually makes it a lot worse. Because like, right here, the dash like, tag. Okay. Ooh. Is that gonna kill? At least yeah. he didn't go for the dash tag. Period. <laughs> it's kind of one of those things where it's like you have to be like extremely careful about how you actually approach situations like that because it's just like. Um, Pyra is obviously very slow, and Mithra is very fast, so, like, not waiting and just thinking that you can kind of just, like, run up and attack people isn't really the best way about going about situations like this, because, like, you need to also think about, like, what the character can actually bring to the table and how you can actually get around it, because, like, Ike is good, but, like, where, where are you seeing Ike's no more? We don't see no Ike's no more.